This week on Salmon Showdown, as the race for the Founders Cup heats up, some teams will swing for the fences. Got some ground to make up, so we'll probably be heroes or zeros. And some will stick with the tried and true. You gotta have some proven stuff on game day, especially when you're in the hunt. But they're all looking for the same thing. It's a great big son of a And when the fight slows down, the pressure builds up. You just show up on Sundays, get your picture taken, or you wanna get the game? Charlie, talk to me, big boy. Welcome to another edition of Salmon Showdown. This weekend we are in Holland, Michigan, site of the Big Red Classic. This is one of the biggest events on the Lake Michigan Tournament Trail, and we've got two great teams for you to ride along with this weekend. They are Best Chance 2 and Team Blue Chip. Best Chance is a 36-foot Tierra led by Captain Dave Engel. His team sits in fourth place in the Founders' Cup race heading into this event. Hailing from the neighboring port of Saugatuck, they know the waters well, and they also know a big score here could give them the outright lead. The Blue Chip is a 31-foot Tierra Open captained by Eric Shippa that also comes out of the port of Saugatuck. They're coming off a strong score posted earlier in Grand Haven, and with another good showing here, they could easily move up above the Founders' Cup pay line. There are 75 boats competing here at the Big Red Classic, and while they wait for the go signal from tournament control, Captain Eric lays out his plan for day number one. Uh, we're just going to try to get our 10 fish. That's the main goal, is 10 fish both days. Hope some big ones come in to mix. We plan on starting about 160 foot, trolling southwest. Probably gonna fish 90 to 120 feet down. Hopefully catch some big kings. After fairly short runs this morning, the early bite does get some quick results. Good job. Nice fish. Ooh, I didn't want to get you wet. On board the Best Chance 2, Captain Dave Engel has been running charters for decades. He's one of the best known captains on the lake and one of the winningest tournament teams. He's also fairly unique in that he fishes these events with a crew that does include charter clients, many of whom can benefit from a crash course on big lake fishing. Okay, that's why we set you down. You know, it's just a thing we've learned over the years for customers that we set you down, keep the fish low, and you swim the trout up. King's different deal, you're all over King. King, you gotta be aggressive, pulling. If you do that with the trout, you're gonna pull more off than you're gonna catch. So it's just a, those are two speed reels. We put it on one to one when we're catching these trout when we're on the big kings. And then we put them on five to one to keep up with them. That's, we got using those reels in the ocean and they've been awesome for this. Just slowly bringing those trout in. Don't, don't push the back. Okay? Sounds good. So class is over on board the best chance to and almost immediately it's time for the final exam. Hey, 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 hey. What's your counter say? 40. This ain't gonna work at all. Coming up top. 
Not exactly a passing grade on this angler's first attempt, but the day is young and hopes are high for a chance to retake that test as soon as possible. That sucked. Over on the blue chip, the action has been pretty steady this morning. There are no newbies on board this boat, but that doesn't necessarily mean there are no lessons being taught. Hey, next time let's get this rod set so we're not sitting with two rods out of the water, okay? Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Little River Casino Resort. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Raise Eyewear, it pays to wear rays. Man, I can't wait to go fishing tomorrow. Same here. Nothing beats getting up at dawn to head out on Lake Michigan and catch our own dinner. Just like my father and his father before him. Maybe you were adopted. Welcome back to Salmon Showdown and day one coverage of the Holland Big Red Classic. On board the best chance too, they are hooked up with another trout and another chance for these novice anglers to test out their newly taught rod handling skills. Lift up, lift up. Good. That is more like it. Let's call it an A+. <laughs> There's more action happening over on the blue chip where Captain Eric is taking a much more hands-on approach. Take it out, Dad. In gear, Dad. Good job. Woo. <laughs> that is why they do it. A nice king salmon in the box for blue chip, one that even without its lamprey ride along should have plenty of weight to fill one slot at the Founders Cup scales. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Feel good to you too. So the action has been pretty steady for both teams here on day number one. Keep in mind they are fishing two tournaments at once. For the Holland Big Red Classic, it's a numbers game that operates on a points and pounds system. The Classic has a 10 fish limit and it's calculated at 10 points per fish and one point per pound. For the 333 Founders Cup, it's a three fish scale limit and scoring is straight weight. With that in mind, Captain Dave has decided to pull line and shift his team's focus. In other words, it's time to go on the hunt for some big kings. We're gonna make the run to the deep water where there's more silvers. We gotta have four silvers, we gotta have three silvers to uh, qualify for the tournament. We got some buddies out there that have caught some, quite a few salmon, not many trout. So best chance is on their new spot and it looks like the silverfish are here as well. The question remains, will they be big enough to fill some slots and move this team up in the race for the Founders Cup? It's a nice king that will definitely help them reach their limit, but they'll likely hold out for something larger to place on the 333 scales. Things are heating up over on the blue chip where Captain Eric's crew is currently hooked up with a double. You can't reel that fish out of the water yet, right there. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, that's a great big son of a 
Oh, sorry, dude. Get him. Keep reeling. It's slow, honey, slow. This one's gone. That's okay, don't sweat it. We got the one we wanted, don't worry about it. Sorry about my mouth. With time growing short, Best Chance is still looking for the one they want, and this king that's coming in hot will likely be their last chance on day number one. Chip is first to the Founders Cup scales. Anything 20 plus is usually a pretty good bet to lock down a weigh-in slot in the 333. Their first is an easy call at 23 plus, and they also elect to weigh a second at just shy of 19 pounds. 1895. Yep. Best Chance 2 has a much tougher call to make with their biggest fish both in that mid to upper teen range. Perhaps surprisingly, they elect to keep them both but not before they attempt to stir up some controversy revolving around the Salmon Showdown camera crew. We're fighting a fish. He smacked the pole with the camera, knocked off the 25 pound chain at the back of the boat. It was That's harsh. Yeah. I knew you were lying because I figured he wouldn't have come back if so, that story was true. We found him. So the scales are closed here on day one of the Big Red Classic in Holland, Michigan. Both our featured teams putting two of their three fish on the scales today. That leaves one slot open for day number two. Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Moonshine Lures, quality super glow lures for salmon, trout, walleye, and striper. Magnum Metals. Clemens Boats your Great Lakes Albemarle dealer. WavePro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. Wave Pro, high performance boat pedestals, best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com. Welcome back to Salmon Showdown. It is the final day of fishing for Holland's Big Red Classic, where both featured teams are heading out to stage along with the rest of this 75 boat field. Best Chance 2 weighed a 16-pound king and a 15-pound lake trout yesterday for the Founders' Cup. Looking back, they'd probably like to have one of those slots back. On the other hand, they are sitting at fourth overall in the Holland Pro Division, and that has Team Morale running pretty high. That, and perhaps the addition of Captain Dave's secret weapon. You ready, Holly? I'm always ready. Brought my lucky charm today. You guys are in trouble. Everybody shoot for a second. Captain Holly. It's pretty much the opposite scenario for Team Blue Chip. They put up just over 42 pounds on two fish yesterday, which gives them a great shot at posting a solid Founders Cup score. They, however, are in a bit of a hole when it comes to the pro side. Today we're going to start a little inside and we're going to try to catch some bigger fish. Seems how we got some ground to make up, so we'll probably be heroes or zeros. We're going to try to catch more big ones and less small ones. Go, 
team best chance two has reached their starting position and almost immediately the high team morale from earlier is replaced by some tension revolving around the crew's choice of starting baits. Huh? No, it's out of here. Do you have a tip? Huh? You're on a whim? Not on game day. Should have been here Friday. So a bit of a wake up call for this crew as Captain Dave pulls rank to keep his eye on the prize. Bring guys from other harbors, they're doing well, fish with you. They get some good stuff, always bring some game. But you gotta have some proven stuff on game day, especially when you're in the hunt. Over on the blue chip, it is business as usual. They're into the trout early and building some numbers. Five more of them, please. Don't, don't make your feet. Yep. Left up, keep reeling. Oh boy! Back on best chance, they're also into the fish, but again, this is a numbers game, and a couple of base hits just don't mean as much if the rest of the team is constantly striking out. Come off, huh? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jake. Bring it in. A tough bite, and usually when it's a tough bite, you gotta be that guy that gets every bite. That was our 10th bite of the morning. We got three fish. Uh, it's not going to fare well. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you got to get started before it can be your fault. Yeah, that was another nice king. Yeah, right. I'm telling you, you pull on. They're not pulling on them. They're, everybody's being too ginger, man. You're scared to death you're going to lose it, and guess what happened? Yeah. You guys are trout fishing, not king fishing. That's five, what did we just have? One, two, three, four kings on in a row. Gone? Yeah, you're gone. Yeah, you got to... You gotta, you gotta convert over. When it's a king, you gotta put some bacon to them. The trout you can be ginger with. You ain't gonna get away with that with those kings. Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Purple Taco Fly Supply. Create your own trolling flies. Garmin. Founders Brewing Company. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. It is the final day here at the Holland Big Red Classic, and after a three for 10 start, Team Best Chance 2 has decided to hand off the rod in a last ditch effort to boost that percentage. No, it isn't either. It's the trout. Women up here. Oh, That's nice. Nice, Holly. <laughs> Holly. So it may have lost a little weight when it hit the deck, but it'll still be a worthy lake trout when they get it back to the scales. Perhaps even more importantly, it breaks that streak of multiple losses and puts Best Chance 2 right back on track. You're good. You, you can stand if you want, but you don't have to. I got, I got everything under control for you. It's been a day of consistency on board the blue chip, and as time grows shorter, their catch keeps growing larger. We got bigger, we got bigger things going than yesterday. If it keeps up, we hope it keeps up. Back on best chance, they're finally putting fish in the box, but the reality is now they're running out of time. To get their 10 fish limit, they'll have to pick up the pace, and this late day steelhead suggests that shifting to a new target might be just what the doctor ordered. What do you want on them? I get something on them. You're the steelhead expert. I live in St. Joe, wrote the book on it. You just show up on Sundays, get your picture taken, or you want to get in the game? Charlie, talk to me, big boy. I'm from St. Joe River. It's where they all live. Come on, Charlie, let's see some of that magic, Buck. Put a freaking 
full-size acid rain or a full-size mixed veggie. Charlie, it's all yours, baby. Put it down. Meanwhile, they are hooked up again on the blue chip, and this one has the feel of a game changer. There you go. Now keep that out of the water if you can. Lift, Brian. Good job. Four-year-old, there's your layer. A lot better than it did before we had them. Well, the scale will tell the tale, but if that's anywhere near 20 pounds, it will likely be enough for Team Blue Chip to move up at least a few spots on the Founders Cup leaderboard. Back on best chance, it's Charlie's spread now, and it looks like he just might have some of that magic that Captain Dave was hoping to see. Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Best Chance 2 is first up to the Founders Cup scales. They fill their remaining slot with a 14 pound lake trout. For Team Blue Chip, that late day king hits 20 pounds right on the mark, and that gives them the day two boost they were hoping for. Now let's total those scores up and add them in to the Little River leaderboard. Missed opportunities led to a disappointing outcome for Best Chance 2 here at the Holland Big Red Classic. However, the damage is not too bad. They'll drop a single spot from fourth to fifth place overall. A better showing for Blue Chip, who came into this event in 25th place. They move up six to 19th, but the key for Captain Eric is that he's only posted two scores so far. Everyone in the top 10 already has three or more. Once he puts up his third, he's going to jump up even further. Well, that's a wrap from the Big Red Classic. We again are in Holland, Michigan this week. Next time on Salmon Showdown, we'll be up the coast in Manistee for the Little River Casino Resort Manistee Monster Mania. Two brand new featured teams and more big lake fishing action right here on Salmon Showdown. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.